Craig, I think, you know, nine seasons in, it's so nice to see you so happy in a playing house, you know, doing all the things with Paige. How different is this experience now that you have someone that is the one that's serious and you're, you know, you're not looking for uh, love anymore? I, th I think that's a great part of a show like ours is we do have almost a decade of film on a lot of us and and you get to watch the roller coaster of life and you know you get to see that mid-20s breakup that everyone has that you think it's the end of the world um, and then you get to see that you come out of that and you get to see people struggle with careers and you know have to move back home for a little bit and all of a sudden you find out that you really love pillows and so does everyone else. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the, the dark times were tough to film, but it's fun that we have it now so we can share the light with everyone. So it's great having a supportive partner, and uh, I, I wish that for everyone. I mean, that mid-season trailer is pretty dramatic for the two of you. I mean, you're, like, ready to be a, a husband, a dad. What's, what's the latest there? She seemed to be not quite there yet. I, I just, you know, I'm a romantic at heart. I love yep. rom-coms. Uh, the problem was I didn't really have anything to base relationships off of other than rom-coms. <laughs> so you don't just start dating and then get engaged and get married. Um, we, you know, we've only been dating for a little over two years and I think we took our foot off the gas. We stopped letting outside pressure get to us and just be like, you know what? What works for us works for us. Um, yeah. You know, not to be shady, but we see a lot of relationships on Bravo not work out and we don't want to be like them. Wait, like, like whose? Oh, <laughs> no, not on our show. Sorry. I, not, not, Just in general. Yes, in, in gen general. Yeah. I, I, actually, I wasn't talking about our show. Um, so we're just trying to do it our way. And uh, I think we know exactly who you were talking about. <laughs> and I just, you know, I hope to propose one day. Uh, she actually mentioned getting, eloping here because of both of our families were at BravoCon. Well, I want to talk about the families. So, you know, I think of her as the ultimate New Yorker. Like, have the families met? Are they best friends at this point, or what's that like? Yeah, they met at BravoCon 2023 in yes. Las Vegas. I love um, that. And, Weekend and they, isn't you know, over yet. I know. We still got another night. I know, I know. I, I got All nervous when tonight. she said that, which is funny. So, um, but we're good, and we'll see what happens. And what's, uh, what's neat is we get to share it with everyone here, so. Olivia, I want to come back to you. It was... Very sad to watch you have to go through losing your brother on this show, but I know it's putting all of the drama aside that we just went through. I know your friend group that is all here did come and rally around you and support you, and I know you felt the love. So tell me a bit how important about that. Um, oh, that was definitely one of the positives out of the season is I got to explore new friendships, and that's really where people stepped up for me regardless of what was going on, and that's... Um, that's what a true friendship is. Like, regardless of the circumstance, you show up for that person. And I really felt that from some. And um, I'm very, very appreciative. And as well as the fans, I've been overwhelmed with all the people that have reached out and, and just shared their stories. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, Taylor, how, I know you've also gone through personal loss. And unfortunately, it's something that a lot of you can share. How are you doing? And then I promise I'm going to come to the audience. I know you have some burning questions, but I don't want to, you know, not, not also acknowledge that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty surreal. Um, Olivia is one of the first people to knock on my door and sit in bed with me and cry. So we've been able to kind of put things aside and um, what's really real and going on in, in our lives. So everybody's been great. Everybody's stepped up just as, <laughs> as they did. That's for, really, for really important. That's what it's about. Taylor, I want to come back to you. Because one moment this season that, of course, I think many of us reacted to was seeing Austin kind of, you know, open up to Shep and say, look, this is what happened. And you said that was kind of blindsiding for you because that wasn't part of the deal. What was it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, I, I can I mean, I'm sit here and laugh about it. I try to laugh everything off at this point. But... Um, no, I mean, I, I really wish that uh, we had, had, I wanted to come out with the truth from the very get-go, and it wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't the case, and he's sitting there going, I'm feeling liberated. I was like, well, I'm glad you feel liberated, because I feel like a piece of poop. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, but um, hopefully, you know, everything just comes out in the wash here and there. Austin, and if I see you. Paul. I mean, I, I <clears throat> you know, once again, we're not really supposed to be getting into this, but I would love to, I mean, you had a decision earlier in the night. I, I can't tell you what to do. I wasn't there. I didn't have a gun. 
to your head. I mean, my friend came to come me. Come on, people, and we're here in Vegas. Me, there's no booing. There's no booing. Uh, what was I supposed to do? On Just that lie note, to Shep's face? Was I, I supposed to lie to Shep? Face. Was I supposed to lie to him again? It would have eventually come out regardless. Right. So I'm supposed to lie to him, go and talk to Taylor, and then come back. That's it was a decision. Told, that's what you told Taylor to do. You know what? It's all right. Taylor and I, it's Olivia. Not, it's, it, it was eventually going to come out in the end regardless, no matter what. I know. No. No. I did not. Taylor, you and I did not, you know, I didn't sit there and say, do not say anything. Like, we both were like, let's just, like, let this thing, you know, go away. That is what we said. Ladies, you know ladies. <laughs> wait, 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 I cannot wait for the reunion. The I cannot wait for the reunion. So bad. I cannot wait. I mean, one thing is the reunion so is So much be to clear up. Something to watch for yeah, sure. Yeah, so much to uh, clear up. Let's talk about who's single and who's not, because we are in Sin City. It is Vegas. We've been here for three or four days at this point. Who's single? Raise your hand. I'm single. I'm very, I'm very single. Living Back my here. best life. I think Since we're all. Um, sure, every day and all day, baby. Yeah. I think we're all single, <laughs> but um, the only person that we never really know about is Maddie. So it's um, a little complicated with her, but. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, complicated is good. Um, Leva, what is your reaction to seeing? that trailer, because like I said, you and I got to see it together and we were like, this is literally insane. Yeah. Um, it was, I can't, you know, I try to stay out of their stuff. Um, somehow it ends up in like a text or a DM or I catch a piece of camera mil. footage because I have 17 million, as you can see. I love the security footage, the moment of you with that. I'm like, not the security footage. <laughs> yeah, um, but there was a lot I didn't know. So obviously I was watching it almost like you guys were, and I was like, oh Lord, could y'all? get it together, but no, you know, it's, it's, it's good, they're young, it's okay. It's okay, guys. I feel like I'm always <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> well, I always say, as long as they keep it outside of Republic, I don't care. All right. But all they right. Are, don't always do that. No. It's hard. Who would you say, Leva, brings the most drama in season two? Because like I said, it's Vanderpump level insanity is what I've been saying. I don't know, these little all together. Ah. They just, they have this chemistry where it's so chaotic. I mean, I feel like Maddie doesn't mean to, but it comes to her. Sorry, Maddie. That's true, too. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I would say, like, me and Maddie are both managers, but somehow, even when we don't try to start any of it, it always just comes right to us. Yeah, it get, we get looped into it, always. We, tr yeah. we try to, like, de-escalate it and be Switzerland, but sometimes when you're Switzerland too much, it can uh, bite you in the ass.